This is our first video in a series that is designed to teach you the art of Gong Fu Cha, which is Chinese for making tea with skill. Using the tools and knowledge that we present, you will be able to enjoy premium teas in the way they are meant to be enjoyed, and more so, share this tea experience with those around you. Let's get started. The teaware essential to Gong Fu Cha are the tea table, with an attached reservoir for catching residual tea, the gaiwan for steeping the tea leaves, a screen for filtering the tea and a screen holder for keeping that filter clean. The master cup, slightly larger and more decorative than the guest cups, is used by whoever is preparing the tea. The pouring cup, used to fill up the drinking cups. The guest cups. A set of tea tools, used for a variety of tasks. And a tea pet, which among other things, brings good fortune to those at the table drinking tea. The only thing you need which is not here is a kettle for boiling water. Stove kettles will work, but electric kettles are quicker and more efficient, so I recommend using one of those. Begin by using your tea scooping tool to take one to two full size scoops of whichever tea you want to drink. If your tea isn't so dense, such as a silver needle white tea or a dragon well green tea, then two or three scoops is about the right amount. Next, use your tea tongs to line up all the cups being used for drinking. As a general rule, whenever you touch or move someone else's cup, you should use the tea tongs. The first infusion of a fresh pot of tea is meant just for rinsing the leaves and warming the teaware. It is not meant for consumption. For this first infusion, fill the gaiwan just over halfway with hot water. With your middle finger and thumb holding the outer rim of the gaiwan, use your index finger to hold down the lid and pour the tea from the gaiwan directly into the cups. Please do take note. This is the most difficult part of the pouring process because the tea is very hot, so if you don't hold the gaiwan correctly, you can easily scald your fingers when pouring tea. To avoid this, be sure to keep your fingers as far back on the gaiwan as possible. Use the tea tongs to empty the cups onto the tea pet and place the cup wherever it is most convenient to the person drinking it. Now, with everyone's empty cups in front of them, we are ready to drink some tea. Refill the gaiwan with hot water, this time letting it steep for about 20 seconds. For the second and all subsequent infusions, set the screen on top of the pouring cup, pour the tea out of the gaiwan, through the screen, and into the pouring cup. Finally, fill everyone's cup, always filling your own last. Pouring tea with skill means keeping everyone's cups full, so you will need to continuously repeat the steps of filling the gaiwan, letting the tea steep, pouring the tea through the filter into the pouring cup, and finally filling everyone's cups. The tea pourer should be alert, but relaxed. All the motions should be carried out smoothly and calmly in order to provide the best tea experience for the guests. The tea in the gaiwan can be re-steeped as many times as the pourer wants. Sometimes the tea is changed out after nine or 10 infusions. Sometimes the same tea is re-steeped for hours. It all depends on what the tea pourer wants to do. This video has been brought to you by Wu Mountain Tea. Wu Mountain Tea's goal is to promote Gong Fu Cha as a way to enhance the overall experience of Westerners enjoying tea. To buy your own premium tea or tea wear, visit our website, wumountaintea.com. Thank you for watching.